So now that we have our software semi set up ready to go, the next thing is to obtain a 3D model. Now there's many sources of where you could get these things. There's different websites out there, different stores. The most popular one is TurboSquid.com. With this website, you could pretty much find any car you want. So let's say you want a Ferrari, you're gonna find a Ferrari. And different qualities, different models, different types of vehicles, people, props, whatever you want, this website has it. The only issue that's becoming very common is a lot of OEM manufacturers do not want their vehicles sold. So for instance, if we were to search BMW, that is one of the, uh, the brands that is not allowed anymore on this website. So it's starting to get a little harder to find some cars. So I believe if you go to um, square.com, this is another website, and they used to have BMWs, they may have removed them. So yep, yeah, so see, they, they have removed this because BMW refuses to grant a license, so BMW, blah, blah, blah. Now there's Hum 3 d this is another website. So let's say we search BMW. Again, they, they don't have it. So a lot of companies are starting to remove BMW, but you can still find it on the internet if you look hard enough. So the car we are going to use is a Lamborghini, and it's uh, by this artist right here. I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but I'm just gonna say it's Jacob. And if you go to his art station, so artstation.com and then his last name, and I'm gonna add the link in the comments below, and you go to the store, he has two free 3D models. So the Corvette is amazing, great quality. The Lambo is the one we're gonna use for this video segment. However, if you wanna use the Corvette, feel free. The concept is the same, and you could use really any car you want, but the reason why I'm gonna use this car and show you where to get it, who to get it from, is because one, it's free, it's amazing quality, and you know it's a hypercar, so it's gonna look amazing when rendered, and who wouldn't wanna have this car to play with, whether it's in virtual land or you know physically in front of you. It'd be fun to photograph. So that's what we're gonna use for the following tutorial. This is where you could get it. If you don't have an account with ArtStation, you can sign up and all you have to do is under free, just add it, download it and get it. So once you do have it, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna import that car model into the software. So there's different ways of doing it. And then once you do download and extract the files, there's a, uh, there's a max file already and there's an OBJ. As long as you have the latest version of 3D Max, I'm not sure which version he saved his in, but right now I'm running 2021 and if you did install 2021 or later, you're not gonna have any issues. So first thing we're gonna do is go to File, Import, and Merge. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, instead of just opening his file, is we have Corona Renderer set up as our render engine, as well as the system units, which I'm using, which is metric with the standard thing. And I like to leave my 3D Max layout the way I use it and not how other people use it. Just because this is what I'm comfortable with, I know the ins and outs of this setup. So this is why we're gonna merge his file into our file. Click open. You're gonna get this little weird error that comes up, no big deal, press open. Now we're gonna get another box that comes up and this is saying these are all the parts that live in this file. Which ones do you wanna merge? So we're just gonna click all, it's gonna select everything, then press okay. And now we're just gonna give it a second. And okay, here comes another file. And this is what happens with older uh, files is some of them had mental ray object properties, which is uh, really no longer standard with 3D Max. So when this comes up, just have this checkbox checked and press okay. And it's just gonna do things behind the scenes, no problem. So now that we have that, we have it in our 3D Max, we have the car set up. So what Jacob does is he has maps that come with the model. And what we want to do is link those assets. So we have like a generic setup of brake caliper or brake rotor textures and so on. So to do that, we're going to hold shift and press T. And this opens up the asset tracking box. And if you don't want to do that, I believe you could go to file, reference, asset tracking. So that's the other way to open it without the shortcut. So this window comes up and this lists all the maps and textures that live in our scene file. So as you can see right now, we don't have anything. If you press refresh, it loads it in. So there we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the top one, hold shift, click on the bottom one. We have all these select, as you can see, the path is blank. What we're gonna do is right click, click set path. 
I'm going to go in, copy the folder where all these maps live, and just paste it in here. Press OK. And it's going to take a second. It's going to load in. And you will see the model just get updated with textures. So there we go. So now if we go here, on this bottom right icon right here, this maximizes our viewport. So if you click on this, and if we move around, you can see we have textures showing up now. We have tires, sidewall, we have carbon fiber things, we have a license plate. So that's what we have. And as long as you see everything, everything's good. Press Shift T, click Refresh. See, everything's OK. Everything's loaded. Good to go. So now that we have that, we will just go to File, Save As. And right now I have a folder that's just my working folder. I'm just going to do incremental save, so 002. And I'm saving this file as the starting file to work with. Now what we're going to do next is before we finish up this segment of the tutorial is quickly organize this. So again, toggle Layer Explorer. We're going to open up the Layer Manager. So as you can see right now, there's one layer. It's called Lamborghini. What we're going to do is open it. So the way Jacob's already done this is he already organized everything for us. So we don't have to do that. So this is a group within a group. So think of it in Photoshop if you created a group and then inside of that group, instead of just having the working layers, you had another group. That's what we're looking at here. So as you can see, if we're going to data prep this, it makes it very easy, very convenient to uh, prep the car without it being very intimidating. And he he went out of his way and even named things properly. This is really the way to do it. Like this is very well done model, high quality model, and it's going to make life easy for prepping it. Now let's see if he even has a hierarchy. So OK, so this is what he does not have and not expected to at all, but it does not have a hierarchy. And so what we'll do there is before we go and start working on the data prep side, we'll just quickly create our own little hierarchy for this vehicle. So that way we could turn the wheels and so on when we get to it. So first things first, go to the helpers tab. We're going to click the point. We're going to create a point. Just click it anywhere. Now I'm just pressing two on my keyboard. That just takes me to the modify tab. Now I'm going to check the box checkbox. Make it 12 inches, one foot. That's because I'm using standard units. You can make it whatever you want. And now we're going to move this helper onto the front wheel. Now you could do this manually and drag it like so, or you could hold shift and press A. And now we're just going to hit inside of the rim. So once we click that, there we go. That helper is placed. Now I'm going to go and manually just drag this up and scale it up. So there we go. Now we have a helper for our front wheel. Now I'm going to hold control, press V. This window comes up. I'm going to instance it, hold shift, press A click it on the inside. So now we have two helpers. Control V, Shift A, Control V, Shift A. So there we go. Now we have these helpers set up and right now they live in the default folder. What I'm going to do is we're going to hide that layer, go to a new layer and just name this one Rig. Now if you want to you could go and name these helpers wheel back left, wheel back right. You could do that. I don't care to. I'm not going to. You can if you want to. So now that we have these helpers, the last helper we're going to need is a main hero helper, which is our chassis helper. And we're just going to go on the bottom, link that to the base. So in these, I'm going to change these to 000. And all I'm doing is going on where these up and down arrows are and pressing right click. And that just zeroes it out. So this is our base helper. This is what we're going to move the whole car with. So if we go to the front view, we want to make sure that helper sits with the tire. So if we want to put this car anywhere on the ground, it will always be grounded. Perfect. So what we'll do next is hide the car, select these helpers. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. And with this button right here, select and link, we're going to press, hold, and drag and link it to this. So now if we move this, everything moves. So the next step, we're going to hide the wheel layers like so. We're going to take, if you double click on this, it's going to select everything that's linked to it. So as you can see, all these four got selected. We're going to hold Alt and drag and select. So we deselect that, right click, press hide. So now we just have this master helper with the whole car. So I'm going to do Control A to select everything, hold Alt 
deselect this helper, click the link and select, select and link, and drag once we have all this selected. And if you press F4, you get to see the wireframe, and this shows that things are selected or highlighted, things that are not are not. So all we're going to do is hold and drag from the car to the helper. So there we go. So now if we move this helper, the car moves. So now what we're going to do is unhide all again, click yes. And now what we're going to do is double click on this. Now hold alt and deselect these bottom helpers for the wheels. Now right click and click hide selection. So now all we have is our wheels left. We're going to press F4. There we go. And now all we do is select one wheel at a time and link them. And now what this is going to do is have our wheels independent from the body, but still linked to the main helper. Now I'm going to do unhide all. So now if you take a look at this, if we move this, that's the whole car. And if we select this helper, and rotate it. We could now rotate our wheels. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And for now, we're just going to leave everything else as is. Unmaximize that. And now, if you want to do what I'm doing, where I'm just framing things like this, I just press Z. That's the shortcut for it. So now that we have that, we could hide this layer, hide the rig layer if we won't need it for now. And if you go to the hierarchy tab, as you can see, now we just have one point. And we'll rename this one to. Lamborghini. So there we go. If we select that, we could move the whole car with just one item. And we still have all the items independent to work and select. So that's your basic merging the car into 3D Max with a simple rig to make sure that we could uh, move the car anywhere. And so like, let's say we have a plane and we'll unhide the default layer. So, or select the default layer. And the way you select layers is see this little blue icon with the folder looking icons next to it. Whatever you select, that's the layer you're working in. And if you have this out here, you can just click and drag. So in the default layers, like let's say you have a uh, like a mountain or a building top. Now all you have to do is click this bottom helper, hold shift A, just press on the plane, and it's just gonna snap it right there. And because our helper is properly positioned, it's always going to sit perfectly flush to the ground. Now I'm just going to undo that, delete that, and save that. So this is kind of step one of getting your 3D asset into 3D Max with a quick little organization setup ready to go for data prep.